All right, we need to talk about the difference between open source software and actually free software because a lot of people got it twisted. A lot of people don't know the difference between these two words. Um, just to be clear, I do not care about open source software. I mean, maybe it's nice, but it is irrelevant for me. That is not what I'm about. I am not interested. I've never, like whenever I'm using the word open source, it's either because I know people misunderstand the term free software, and I'll use open source in stay of that, or because I'm making fun of the people who obsess about open source because it's basically meaningless. So what is, what is open source versus what is free software? Now to be clear, the confusion around free software is that people aren't clear on what it means, right? Because if you say free software, most people interpret that to mean stuff you get for free. That is not what free software, capital F, capital S, means in the context of the free software movement, in the context of the free software foundation. Um, free software is software that respects a user's freedom. Ultimately, there, I mean, there are specific things about it, but ultimately the, the goal of the free software movement is to move away from people being constrained by proprietary software, software that tells them what to do, how to do it, that doesn't allow them to look at the source code and change it and exchange it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it constrains users artificially when it doesn't even need to. Okay, so that is what the free software movement is about. And tangentially, it is also about user privacy. It's also about user, I don't know, political liberty, you know, other, other things like that. That is what free software is about. It's ultimately a kind of an ethical movement, all right? It's not just, it's definitely not just about getting software for free because, you know, as they say, it's not, it's free software as in free speech, not as in free beer. That's the point. It's, the, you know, software that liberates people or at least doesn't constrain them. In, in, in essence, free software can be very neutral as long as it's not constraining you. Now, what is open source? Um, there's a sense in which open source is the same thing, but also a very, very, very different thing, okay? Because an open source license may be exactly the same as a free source license. Arguably, they are the same thing because open source software says, oh, well, you can look at the source code, you can change it, you can give it to someone else, uh, you can do what you want with it. That Hey, there's a sense in which an open source software uh, license is the same thing as a free software license. But the difference is the open source movement takes really what happened is you know the free software movement came out and started writing entire operating systems on this totally new model of development where everyone works together on free software and you know big companies and stuff started realizing oh my goodness this actually is way more efficient at doing what they're doing so we need to kind of co-opt it and that's what the open source movement is it is free it's the free software movement but without any of the ethical qualms of it. Open source is just about the source code being open and exchangeable. Now I know some people will use the term open source to mean what I'm talking about is free software, but those people have sort of, you know, that, that is an additional definition. Like really that's what free software is. And if you say that you're pro open source, but you're really about user freedom, you should really say you're pro, you know, free software. That's, I, I know it's a confusing term in English, you know, Libre software, whatever you want to say. But anyway, so the open source movement if you actually look at what it is, like even in the contexts of Linux, you know, you have the development of free software, but then you start having these big companies come in, you start having the government come in and say, oh, well, we're, we're gonna fund this massive project. We're gonna fund Red Hat. We are gonna fund, uh, you know, Mozilla Furry Fox. We're gonna fund these big projects, open source projects, where ultimately the concern is not user freedom. I mean, Mozilla Furry Fox is a great example because now they have put up, they've put up like blog posts saying about why it's important for free software, well, open source software to be used to restrict the internet and to make sure that people aren't getting disinformed and stuff like that. I mean, now, now the question is, it used to be we would have a proprietary boot stamping on our face for all eternity, but now it's an open source boot that's stamping on our face for all eternity. And these open source companies, they ultimately, like they, they care about things being open source, not because they care about user freedom, okay? Not because they care about user privacy, not because they care about users' political liberties or something like that, but because they think, oh, this is a more efficient way of writing code. Oh, it's cool, oh, we can collaborate and stuff like that and create, you know, like a, 
the Mark of the Beast system where we have like some panopticon that's monitoring everyone. Oh, it's cool because it's open source. Oh, contact tracing, it's open source. Like that's the way these people think. They don't think about the ramifications of the technology they're writing. They're just like, oh, well, it's open source. That makes it good. I don't care. Like if you're using an open source program that spies on you, what is the point? Okay, honestly, what is the point? And that's what we're moving to. If you look at Apple and you look at Microsoft, right? Um, you know, Microsoft is a, you know, Windows is a spyware operating system. Apple Mac is a spyware operating system with a bunch of vendor lock-in too. Um, and now what's happening is they're starting to open source their components. You know why? Because open source doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for privacy. It doesn't matter for anything. Because if these people are still programming malicious things into their operating system, who cares if it's open source or not? Maybe you're a little more aware that it's going on. But even worse, they do this thing where... 90% of the operating system will be like open source and that is supposed to produce some kind of trustworthiness when in reality it just takes one line of code to totally compromise your privacy and everything else okay that's what I don't, I don't think people get I mean I, I did a video again I should probably do another video on this because it comes up every, you know pretty often there's this stupid program called telegram that people use under the false idea that is it is a private messaging system it absolutely is not it might because they talk about encryption they talk about open source software because the desktop client is open source and then guess what it sends all your messages to a centralized server where they have the decryption keys for everything you type okay so it's pointless it's the same thing as you know any kind of facebook messenger you know what i mean um so all of this is to say the open source movement now, I mean, it's gone to the point where now I sort of view open source. And I, I used to look at Richard Stallman who said stuff like this as, okay, he's being a little a little too intense maybe. But I now look at open source as a, a negative movement, a very negative movement. Um, I've, I've been sort of neutral to it for the past couple of years. But now open source is like this, is this Trojan horse for like a corporate and government takeover of like free software. They are coming in and they're writing all these like very bloated tools that don't even run very well anyway. Um, but they're coming in and, uh, you know, really open source is a way of getting free development too, you know? Like they're doing it for their own business, uh, for their own benefit and, uh, you know, for their own economic gain. And often it goes against users' freedom and privacy. Um, but you know, th that is the big difference between open source and free software. The licenses might be basically the same thing. It's the intentions behind the licenses. I mean, if you have, um, you know, the Linux foundation is now, you know, working with governments to make contact tracing apps and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's crazy the kind of things that are going on because these people that if they care about open source and not free software, they're compromised. Who cares? Like they're no different from a developer at Microsoft or something like that. So I don't trust them. Now that's not to say that I distrust like every single program that people like this, you know, write, I just have a problem with because, hey, if it is open source and people can look at it, they can at least see when there are malicious things going on. So people could see when Ubuntu, you know, puts in, uh, you know, puts like the Amazon trackers that everything you type in the start bar goes to Amazon, right? People could see when that happened because it was open source. But the, the bigger problem is a lot of these people who say that they are pro open source, they have no ethical qualms with anything. They will do anything. And, and now it's getting to the point where people who say the stuff that RMS has been saying for decades and been totally right on, like every single time, they're starting to call that like, cons oh, you're being a conspiracy theorist. You're, are you saying that Windows monitors you? <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory, dude. That's a conspiracy theory to say that like, you know, I, I don't know, all the money we're getting from these organizations might bias us in some way. You know, that, that it's crazy, you know? So I just want people to understand open source, like it, I, I use the word sometimes because I know normies get confused between open source and free software. Really, you know, I, I like free software, open source. I used to be neutral neutral to uh, in, you know, software is just being written by itself. It's not a problem. But whenever you're dealing with open source people, you have to question their motives. Uh, they might be neutral. But I think in a lot of cases, you know, governments and corporations are going to continue to co-op these people uh, to write more and more egregious things. Like, I don't care if the boot stamping on my head is proprietary or open source. I don't want a boot stamping on my head. That's what free software is about. Okay?